guys, it's Marianne, and this is my basement kitchenette. So when we moved, I knew I wanted to find a vintage refrigerator to have downstairs to keep drinks in because we've got a pool out there. And when I found this little vintage refrigerator on the internet, I knew it had to be mine. I loved the small scale, I loved the lines, the chrome accents, but obviously the finish needs a little help. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can paint a refrigerator. Yeah, you can paint a refrigerator, like any color you want. You're not just limited to like white or black or stainless steel. So uh, I think I'm gonna paint it pink. Shall we get started? Okay, so first things first, we want to protect our floor with a drop cloth and we're going to prep our surface. So this old fridge has some old stickers and pieces of tape on it. So I'm gonna start by soaking all of these areas with a solvent or adhesive remover. Okay, so we've let this sit for a minute and you can see that it's pretty much coming right up with the razor blade. Oh, that's kind of like really satisfying. All right, that's pretty smooth. So I'm just gonna grab a sanding block and go over this area. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go over the whole thing with the sanding block. Now, the paint we're using actually does not require sanding ahead of time. But this fridge has, you know, a little bit of like roughness on the surface. So I just wanna make sure it's as smooth as possible so we get the most professional results. Once you're finished sanding, we're going to clean it with a grease cutting cleanser. Um, in particular, this is important because we want to get through all of that oil that we sprayed on the stickers. But if you didn't have any stickers or anything to remove, you can just use a regular household cleanser. Okay, and our last step to prep the surface is to tape off any areas you want to protect from paint. So I'm going to tape off this really cute chrome handle and the logo right here, and then also around the gasket on top. Okay, so we have our surfaces all prepped. Everything's taped off. We have sanded. We have degreased, and now we're ready to paint. So I actually did a lot of research about the best kind of paint to use for this project. And you'll find a lot of different recommendations across the internet. A lot of people use an enamel paint, which looks great. However, can be really tricky to get an even coat and might be best left to the professionals. So I ended up on our old favorite, chalk paint. So you guys know we love this product. It goes on, you don't need to prime, you don't even really need to sand, even though we did. And now they make a gloss lacquer to go on the top of it so you can get a smooth, wipeable, shiny surface which was the only thing that was making me not consider chalk paint because it naturally has a very matte, chalky finish. So I'm super excited. We're gonna paint it this really pretty pink color called Antoinette and uh, I mean, I say we just get started. So for best results, use a soft bristled brush and do thin, even coats. This paint dries really quickly, so you can do multiple coats and still finish this project well within a day. One reason I love chalk paint is the product is self-leveling. If you're using a different kind of paint, you may wanna be very aware of your brush strokes or even use like a foam roller. All right, so we got our first coat on. It's already looking so cute. I obviously unplugged the refrigerator for this part. Probably should have said that at the beginning. But the awesome thing about chalk paint is it does dry pretty quickly, so I'm just gonna wrap my brush in a little plastic wrap, go eat lunch, and then we'll be ready for a second coat. Okay, so we've given this first coat a chance to completely dry, and we're gonna put one more on, and I'm just gonna cross my fingers that two coats is all we need. All right, guys. Our second coat is dry, and as I had hoped, 
we're only gonna need the two. We only used about half a can of paint for this project, so a little definitely went a long way. Now we're gonna add a coat of this chalk paint lacquer. This is going to give it a glossy finish that will make it easy to wipe down and keep clean, which is so great for a refrigerator. And you just add one to two thin coats. What I really like too is this is a water-based lacquer, so you can do it inside, you don't have to wear a mask, it's really nice. All right, first coat is dry, time for coat number two. Okay, so second coat is on, and now it's recommended that you let this dry completely overnight. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well guys, I think I'm gonna celebrate with a drink. I am in love with my new old fridge. You know, it was about a day's worth of work and I think it turned out great. I would totally paint a vintage fridge again. I wanna hear from you guys. What's the craziest thing you've ever painted? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you later. Mmm, ice cold. <laughs>